guys, what's up? Zell here. Welcome to my channel. It's election time. Yes, it is election time in the United States of America and this election has an impact to if not all countries but many countries in the world so this is a very good timing to talk about something very important very very important so stick in this video and you will find out why am I talking about this well just simple because first I love you and second I want you to know the truth you need to know the truth so why do we have to vote why do we have to choose the best why is there election all right let's start with a short overview about this topic so what is an election according to google election is a formal and organized choice by vote of a person for a political office or other position so it's a choice by a person or a citizen or citizens of a country it's the people who decide who to put in office or it's the people who decide who they want to be their president who will be the leader of their country at least in a democratic um, government this is how it works right and who is it for who is the election for well basically it's for the people right um, people vote for the person and then the person will be serving the people that should be the ideal I want to take you to the very first election happened in history of the earth so we go to Genesis chapter 3 most of us know about the, the fall of Adam and Eve this is when they were in Eden this is this this was their home and they were created and then God put them in in Eden as their home and everything was perfect they had they had everything they need God gave Adam the dominion of the earth so Adam was the one ruling the earth and Eve was with him so it was a perfect life for them until until one day remember the tree that God told them not to eat the tree of knowledge of evil and good and evil when when Eve was looking at this and then there the serpent and then what happened there there were two candidates running for their for their presidency well obviously God already was the the president of the earth but then Satan wanted to take over the earth from God and so here comes his chance when when Eve was there that's when Satan campaigned his candidacy yes so how did he do it this is what he can do that God can never do he lied he twisted the truth and he promised something so first as we we go reading this chapter 3 first one says now the now serpent, the serpent was, more was more subtle, subtle than, any than any piece of the field which the Lord God had made and he said unto the woman yea hath God said 
Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Of the garden. Ha ha. Notice the question. If you go back to um, the first chapters of the book where God told Adam not to eat. That's in Genesis chapter 2 verse 17 or 16 and 17. That's when God um, gave Adam the care for the garden. And the Lord God commanded the man, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt surely die. So what did God say? All the fruits of the trees in the garden you can eat. You can freely eat all. That's what he said. But except one. And that's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But what did Satan say? What did Satan say? Go back to chapter 3, verse, verse, verse 1. Ye hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. <sighs> See that? How he's twisted what God said. And then, so he's got a follow-up. What did, what did he say following up? And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Oh, ye shall not surely die. What did God say? Ye shall surely die. You shall surely die. And then he said, You shall not surely die. You see that? He is very cunning, very subtle. And and then he added. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Ho! Oh, there you go. There you go. The promise. Your eyes will be open. Hello? Their eyes were already open. Well, I'm not saying that literally, but their eyes were already open. God already told them everything. God showed them everything. God never hid anything. Even this, He told them. He told them that thou shalt not eat. In the day that you shall eat, you shall surely die. But what He meant with surely die, it's not like when you eat it, you shall you you shall die right away. No, that's not what He meant. Most of us, we are all familiar about this, the, the fall of man, and we think that the sin, they, the, 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 the sin that they did was eating the fruit. No, actually, it's not, it's not about that. It's not about the eating of the fruit is the result of their sin, the result of their disobedience to God's command, which thou shalt not eat. Right? So the, the problem here is they believed Satan rather than believing God. They forgot about everything that God told them. Yes. Yes, I know, right? That is the problem. That's the fall. That's the fall. It's not about the eating. Eating is the result. The woman just cast her vote to Satan, right? After, just like that, Satan was twisting, Satan was lying, and Satan was promising something. So, it's seemingly that Satan won. So, he got what he wanted. He got the vote of Eve, and then later on, of Adam. Right, and then what happened? What happened after that? After they disobeyed God, what was the consequence? So they had to leave the 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 perfect home, Eden, and then they had to work so hard for their daily food, 
which was so different when they were in, in Eden. They didn't have to work that hard. They just had to tend what God has provided them. Not that they didn't have to work, but they it's still a work, but not as hard as when they were out of Eden. They had to feel the tiredness. If you're going to compare when they were with God and then when they were under Satan, because now Satan is claiming that the earth is under his governance. The truth is, we are facing election, election every day of our lives. There's no neutral in, in election. There's no neutrality. You have to choose either this one or that one, right? Same thing in life. There is there's no middle ground. We have to decide. The Adam and Eve, when God was their president, they lived a happy life. They lived perfectly. They were so happy. They didn't need anything. But when they chose Satan, everything just fell apart. But God is faithful and He's there all the way, all the way to the end. Same thing in our lives. So He He's the same. God is the same in the past, in the present, and in the future. He never changes. Last thing I want to say, the enemy promises something more which never exists. But on the other hand, God has already given you everything. So, who do you want? Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope that you learned something and that you like the video. And if you do, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for all my subscribers. 100 plus more. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. See you in my next video.